Hey guys, welcome back to my class. My name is Mr. Gonzalez, and today we're going to continue the Spanish lesson on diacritical accents while also reviewing last lesson on accentuation. Okay, so like we talked about last class, we kind of went over accentuation a little bit. We're going to go ahead and review it, that way you guys have a better idea of what we're going to talk about today. So if you guys remember last class's lesson, we went over the four types of words that there are when you're accentuating in Spanish. And it's important to know that you have your agudas, you have your llanas, you have your esdrúculas, and you have your sobre esdrúculas. Um, the, what makes these words different is where the, either the tonal accent or the acento tónico or the written accent goes on the word. So when we're talking about um, palabras agudas, you'll notice that the accent goes on the last syllable from right to left. So we have an example here, the word aceptar. So you have aceptar. You kind of hear that the emphasis on the last syllable being syllable number one going from left to right. When you look at your palabras llanas, you'll notice that the accent goes on the second to last syllable from right to left. So, for example, the word carro, you have one syllable carro. So then you hear that the emphasis is more so on the second to last syllable instead of the first one, qualifying it as a palabra llana. Now we have your esdrúculas and your sobre esdrúculas, and something to note that is very, very important about these words is that they always have a written accent. There's never a debate on whether they have a written accent or an acento tónico, they will always have a written accent. So with your palabras esdrúculas, you always accent on the third to last syllable from right to left. So we have the word brújula. So you have bru, hu, la, and when you say the word all the way through, brújula, you'll notice that the third syllable is the one that has the most emphasis. And like we mentioned, it always has a written accent. We also have the sobre esdrúculas, which goes on to the fourth to last syllable from right to left. And for here, we have, as an example, the word diganmelo. And if you look at the number of syllables, we have diganmelo, labeled one to four from right to left. And when you say the word diganmelo, you can hear that the accent and the emphasis is on the fourth syllable. Now we have gone over what we did last class, going over the types of words, how to accentuate them. And um, it's now important for you guys to know what are acentos diacriticos. And the objective of this lesson is to go over diacritical accents, understand their function, and why they're used. So, Primarily, the main thing that um, acentos diacriticos do is that they, they help distinguish words that are spelt and sound the same. The main function of uh, diacritical accents is this. Because in the Spanish language, there are some words that are spelled the entirely the same way, they sound the exact same, but they don't necessarily mean the same thing. Some prime examples of these would be like the words te and te, which, looking at them, te serves as a pronoun. Meanwhile, this thing means T. So, if you were to use both of these words in a sentence, and one of them did not have the accent, the diacritical accent, it would make the sentence structure very unusual, and we wouldn't know exactly what you were referring to. So, whenever you're going over diacritical accents, it's important to place the accent. So for example, if we were to write if we were to write this question, ¿Quieres que te dé té? Which translates to, would you like me to give you some tea? We have to be able to distinguish which of these this is the pronoun and which of it is the T. So that's where the diacritical accent comes into play. Quieres que te, right here, we have the pronoun. 
¿Quieres que te, meaning you, would you like que te de, also has an accent, because that's another example of a diacritical accent. You have de, which means of, and then you have de, which means to give. So here, make sure to put the accent on de, because that is the verb to give. ¿Quieres que te de? De. And this means tea. 